In this video, I'm going to be giving you a two-play mini scheme that you can utilize out of the nickel triple formation to really put the gun bunch in uh, just a lot of challenges. This is a great way for you to get pressure and at the same time be able to have great coverage. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day uh, to the channel here. And guys, I'm a little bit under the weather, so uh, just kind of cranking through it here. So give me some grace on that if my voice is a little cracky uh, or I'm a little sniffly. But uh, anyways, let's just jump into this video. So like I said, um, you know, subscribe if you want to get more of these videos but this nickel triple is a really fun defense it really is uh, there's a lot that you can do with this a lot of people don't realize how good this cover six really is um, the cover six is kind of my base match coverage and then you also have this cover three match which both are very good coverages in themselves then you can obviously have the nickel blitz two and then if you want to you could put something like a cover three cloud in there kind of a zone drop style defense um, but you have all of those kind of things at your arsenal now the play that we're going to first talk about today is the nickel blitz two and again the nickel triple is found in a lot of playbooks but it's also found in the chicago bears playbook i actually have a full ebook on the nickel triple so if you want to get access to my full nickel triple defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to that in the description now the beauty of the nickel triple is in the fact that it is a bare front. It's got a lot of things going for it in that regard. Um, a lot of the things, a lot of the patterns from the four six bear, the three four bear uh, from previous years, we can kind of uh, piece together within and how this is going to work. But the beauty of this is if you take a look here, you've got this front, this three man front right here, and then you have these edge rushers. Now these edge rushers are really designed to contain at a very high level um, and so and then when we want to send a corner you're going to see we're going to drop this guy and send this guy it's going to give us some really really uh, cool edge pressure so uh, what you can do what i like to do with this is i actually like to just simply baseline and press coverage you're going to kind of stand right here with your user and at the snap of the ball if they are sending five out what you should see here is some pressure that's going to come in off that right b gap as you can see uh, matthew judon able to get some pressure at the quarterback now if you don't baseline i do want to show something when i don't baseline i do like to go ahead and contain um, and the reason why is because when you're up against bunch the routes will kind of run into your blitzer so the contain will get him to take that little gather step and it will still allow that b gap pressure to come in but as you can see it's a, it's real simple literally we just come out we just come out and run the blitz and um, if you want a baseline you certainly can by blitzing your user um, that will only help this concept uh, and what you're going to see here is the blitzer uh, and that's actually the other thing i was going to talk about so when they block a running back, one of the things I really like about the nickel triple is how wide of a stance you get from these two guys right here. And so what's going to happen is when they block a running back, it doesn't happen every time, but if you hold left trigger with your user and you kind of come out here, you'll see that this edge rusher will come in almost every time if they block the running back. So to me, that's a huge win uh, for this defense. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is when you baseline and press, and let's say, for example, they block uh, their tight end, what you're going to see here is this tight end doesn't always pick this up. Now, that was a max protect, and it did do a decent job of picking it up. But let me show you uh, what it looks like for that tight end to block. So we're just going to go to mesh post and then uh, baseline press. If you wanted to crash your line, you could, um, you know, in a direction, but I actually like the standard stunts you have here. But what you're gonna see is, and again, right there, we didn't, wasn't able to get it around there. But when they block a tight end, I'm telling you, the nickel triple, just because of the alignment of the formation, if you just simply, you know, you could do something like that. Um, and I wouldn't wanna do that, but you could do something like this right here. And um, let me get the backers back down there. Um, you know, you can man that guy up on the running back or something. The cool part is you don't have to send both edges. You could you could drop one or whatever. But anyways, you see, you could do something like this. Um, and then if they if they block their tight end, what you're going to see here is with that contain, a lot of times that contain will come in even if they block a tight end on this defense. So to me, this is what part of what makes the nickel triple so good is you get this kind of four-man uh, wide angle uh, pressure that is actually fairly consistent you see right there that's max protect and that contain is coming in so to me the nickel triple is something that i think a lot of people sleep on um because most people just you know i mean most people either want to run a three down lineman set or they want to run um like a nickel normal type set which nickel normal is very good but don't sleep on this nickel triple defense i'm telling you right now that contain is really glitchy um especially against the gun bunch most people don't really utilize this um if you want to you could crash your d line to the right 
and then you could kind of stand like right in here you could also crash your line out if you wanted to uh, I'll show you what that looks like just for kicks and giggles here when you crash your line out um, sometimes like you see there it, it does get picked up uh, that's why I like to kind of generally just keep the same uh, flow to the play uh, if you flip the play, you'll see your nickel corner will move, okay? So there's some other packages from this that your nickel corner won't move. But in this example, it could be a good thing, right? You could stand right here, and then you could have that nickel corner kind of coming down into a really, really unique area. Um, and then you could go with something like this. And now you've got a really interesting little blitz concept that I think is one of the better blitzing concepts in the game against a blocked running back is that kind of stack and contain uh, concept. But that is some pressure from nickel triple that you can use. Like I said, don't sleep on this. Um, it's as simple as pressing and containing. And that's really all you have to do. And for the most part, this will come in consistently against pretty much any blocking scheme which I really like that about this. Again, very simple. Um, and that's the beauty of nickel triple. It really is a simple defense. And when you when you can kind of uh, work together with your, work the pressure with your coverage, um, I think it's a really, really powerful defense. Obviously, you've got great coverage across the board. Um, but the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video was cover six. So with the cover six, what you can see here is I can run the cover six like this, right? And, and, Essentially, this could actually be a cover six and a cover nine because I could just flip this. Notice that the nickel corner is going to stay on that side, but now I'm in a completely different defense. So it's got, I've kind of got built in cover six and cover nine. I've also, if I wanted to create cover four quarters, for example, I could put the outside cornerback in a quarter. I could put the safety in a quarter zone in an inside quarter. And then I could take this guy right here, um, Van Noy on the edge or Duggar, and I could put them into a curl flat. So you see here that I can kind of cre recreate a four, a four man blitzing quarters. And I'll tell you, this little four-man blitz and quarters combination um, gets very good sheds, probably some of the best sheds in the game. And then as you can see, the quarters coverage is going to lock up a lot of what Bunch likes to do. Um, if you're running this against Bunch, you could just run the cover six. Uh, and the reason why is because the cover six, in my opinion, um, is the best Bunch defense in the entire game. So what we can do here is, because this guy on the left side of the screen is a middle linebacker, we could man him up on that safety on the back side there. And then we could simply drop, you know, whoever we want, really. Uh, I actually really like to drop this left of screen defensive end into a bluff blitz assignment. The reason why is because, let's say, for example, you're playing somebody that runs a lot of mesh post. You're going to see here that that three red hook uh, normally does a pretty good job of taking that away. And then, as you see, the rest of the defense kind of works together to stop a lot of what Bunch likes to do. So the beauty of nickel triple is you can do kind of a pressure, heavy pressure, and then you could go uh, into something like, you know, the cover six, for example, where, you know, with very few adjustments, really, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, um, really all the, all you really have to do here is this, and that's the only adjustment you really need. And then what I would do is take that backside hard flat, uh, and then you've got cover six. And now if they want to run, you know, their typical kind of mat, play flooding combinations out of this formation, um, you're going to have a pretty good chance at forcing that to the corner. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get more of these tips and tricks, I've released several of them every single day. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full uh, nickel tri triple ebook, there's a link in the description. I also would recommend that you join my Patreon. If you haven't joined the Patreon yet, that's where we can get you get instant access to everything. For just 10 bucks a month, you get every ebook. I've got 12 ebooks over there, and we've got uh, probably four more that we're working on right underneath the hood. So make sure to join the Patreon. There's a link to that in the description below. Again, you can sign up for just 10 bucks a month. And if you want to cancel whenever you want, you certainly can. But as long as your subscription is active, you're going to get instant access to absolutely everything that we cover over at the Patreon.